these snakes, it's a part of the Bible, and I'm going to put that before anybody. I've been bit six times. I don't think it's crazy, it's just a sign from God. Snake handling, it is not for me. I don't understand it. The purpose of our church is to spread the name of Jesus Christ and get people saved. But if you've not been raised up in it and you look at it, you're going to be like, man, them people's crazy. I've seen a lot of people bitten. I've seen them suffer. I've seen them come close to death. I've seen it so much, I'm gonna pray for them. I'm not gonna quit doing it. The only difference between our church and other churches is when you go to the book of Mark 16 and 18, it tells you about the Bible signs. The signs is taking up serpents, drinking poison, casting out devils, speaking in tongues, and laying hands on the sick and then recovered. From I was raised up in it, these snakes, they don't scare me, they don't bother me. We are a normal family. We love each other like normal families love each other. It was fun <laughs> growing up. I mean, it was different, of course. You know, people knew who you were, and oh God, it's them snake handlers. They're crazy. <laughs> you know, the only time I've ever had fear getting bitten by a snake is if I had sin in my life and I knew I shouldn't even been around the snake. I never heard of the snake handler until I met my husband, Cody. And honestly, I sat and thought, what am I getting myself into? Come on in. I love snakes. This is the timber rattler, which is what we got around Kentucky. Beautiful snakes. When the Bible says serpents, if you look up the definition of a serpent, it means a poisonous snake. If they could bite you and never hurt you, it wouldn't be a sign to the unbeliever. Sometimes I do think that Cody puts the snakes for me and our kids. When I get bit, I stay home, live or die. When the old man got bit by a cane break like this, he died within probably 10 minutes. So, it's a nasty bite. Praise you, Jesus. Daddy made a vow when he was younger that he wouldn't go to the hospital if he ever got bit. That night, the service was great. The Lord was moving, the music was really good, the serpents was being hound, and he got bit. It reacted so quick. It had got a main artery and a vein. He died within five minutes. I miss Jamie more than anything in this world. It's hard, but I know where he's at, and that makes it easier. Immediately after Jamie's death, Cody stepped in and stepped up. He walked right into Jamie's shoes. He did not want to but he respected it and he did. Praise the Lord. Everybody just keep your mind on God. Let it pass your way in the service. Oh, but I'm joyful to be here tonight. I love the Lord. People don't realize how they need to get in church and need to get saved because Jesus is coming back. The Bible plainly tells us that. And when it does come, there'll be a time they'll say, you will either not worship God or we'll cut your head off. It's your end off the leader, and it's just eight. Ain't no strength to touch now. 
except for the cause of fornication. There's all kinds of things to talk to you. A lot of churches, they'll judge you for where you've come from, what you've done. Well, we don't believe in judging. We all got a background. We just teach them Jesus will forgive you. You got to stop what you're doing. You don't see me out there living in sin. Come on, acting like a sinner, walking like a sinner. I'm looking at Big Cody in. He was a big time drug dealer. Well, now he's in church. He don't deal drugs no more. You got to stop your sin, but God will forgive you. You want to see why I call it God's country? Who else could make something like that? Snake hunting's important. We're the ones supplies the church. I like doing it just because it's fun. A copperhead. Can you hold this so I can get this rattlesnake? Flip that box around over it. Stop right there. This snake's moved since you've been gone. It's right there. That'd be a good one for church, I think, Shelby. Everybody thinks we're crazy anyway, how we handle snakes. The Bible says a believer's a doer. And if you're not walking according to the will of God, and you get a serpent out of the box and it bites you and you lay and suffer for hours on end, there's more than likely something wrong in your life. Get in there, buddy. I would let you drive if you wouldn't kill us. I never have asked Cody to stop his belief because I know that he wouldn't. The wife is always super scared that I'm gonna get bit and killed. Every time I go to church and I take a snake out of the box, she's like, I'm worried that you're gonna get bit and killed. And I just tell her when it's my time to go, it's my time to go, I'm, I'm still gonna do it. It's not gonna stop me. And she says, well, you need to think about your kids. Well, I do think about my kids, but in the line of work I'm in, being a pastor, it's God family job. God comes first, family comes second. I do worry that Cody is going to leave this world like his dad did. That's just a fear I just cannot overcome. When I go to church, I like to dress nice. I like to dress a little different. Some people don't believe pink and blue mixes too good, but I do believe that if you get bit and you have to suffer, that there was something wrong. Either you had something in your life, you didn't move when God told you to, you went against what God said, I do believe that. I believe a good bite's when one latches on and you just die in five minutes and don't suffer a bit. Because the boys I've suffered, I've been swelled up so big you couldn't tell who I was from snake bites. And every time it's because I should have waited on the voice of God. I believe that one day there's going to be fire rain down from heaven. It's going to burn this old earth. The Bible plainly says heaven and earth's going to pass away, but there'll be a new earth and a new heaven. I believe once you go, you're there for eternal. I am looking forward to when I go to meet my maker, but I'm happy with my wife and my kids is what makes me happy. If something happened to Cody, my kids would be heartbroken. That's a constant worry. Something that you love so much can be taken from you, you know, just like that. If you know that you're going to heaven and you know you ain't got no sin in your life, it's a good time to die. Ready for church.
Kill the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> 